was a good ghost story, especially as we approach Halloween. Boom! As a senior executive of one of the world's largest movie studios, Julie Rieger spent her days marketing imaginary stu stories until something happened to her. After her mother passed away, Julie captured her first ghost in a photograph and then blew open a door to the other side. She tells the story and shows us pictures in her new book, The Ghost photographer. Julie, good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Nothing says Saturday morning like a good ghost photo. <laughs> right? Exactly. I know you live in LA, so welcome to better weather. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> thanks for being here. Not. Talk to me a little bit about that transition, about how you, exactly the impact your mother's passing had that got you to this uh, different stage of your career. That is a fantastic question because I didn't know until this happened how grief, grief actually throws us into chaos. And so mm -hmm. when you're in chaos, you tend to shed rigidity of your own belief systems. I was skeptical because my job is kind of nerdy. I'm the chief data strategist, so my universe is all numbers. And then here I am taking pictures of ghosts, then actually hearing them, seeing them, feeling them, smelling them. Wow. So what, who were the ghosts? They are uh, lots of ghosts. I did actually look at your face. And it's also, fantastic. <laughs> listen, and also... How does Neil Diamond play into this? Oh, you're outing me. Oh, mm -hmm. Not taking pictures of ghosts isn't bad enough. Now you're saying I'm a fan of Neil Diamond. I love it. We were, at the, it? Hall, we were at the Hollywood Bowl, and I took the photograph and didn't find out until a few months later when I looked at it closer that over to the right, in black and white, was a stagehand at the Hollywood Bowl, right next to Neil Diamond. It was crazy. I still think this stuff is crazy. I mean, I believe it, but it's still kind of crazy. Let's be honest. There are, there are some, I'm sure, some skeptics, skeptics on the other side of that camera. What would you say to them? People are like, ah, oh, ghosts, are you kidding me? Whatever. Um, I've, of course, been asked this many times. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you know this is true? And so my, my answer is in a story or in a question, which is, have you ever been to Iceland? And most people say no. And I say, well, how do you know it exists? And they're like, well, I've seen it in photographs. Exactly. You've seen it in photographs, and you've heard stories. Mm. Now, what are you smelling, and who are the ghosts again? Sorry, I got us off on the other thing. You did, I love a tangent. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> um, I've actually seen my mother. I have um, seen other relatives of people. I've seen ghosts I don't know. A lot of ghosts I don't know. I have 9,000 pictures of these things. And so there's a lot that I don't know. And then you ask, who did I, I smell? I actually smelled the perfume of a woman from the 1800s. Crazy. You know that perfume on the airplane where it's all pungent? It was like that, but times wow. 100. And I kept trying, I was smelling other people in the group and nobody smelled like it, and I kept falling around. Then I ended up talking to her. Wow, okay, now let me ask you this. When, how does it work? <laughs> Do you see a ghost and snap the photo, or are you just a photographer, and you look back at your work and then find the ghost afterwards? Both, but it's mostly I'll take a picture and then I'll look and see there's ghosts in. They're not just my photos. Because another confession is I'm slightly obsessive personality and so I start looking at everybody else's Facebook and I can see ghosts in their photos as well oh I'm are they always a, an image or a, a shadow or is it a shadow or sometimes it's a light or what, do you, what would you say it's it, it is all of the above sometimes it's a light I've seen orbs of course a lot of people have had, had pictures of orbs um, I have seen outlines I see them a lot in glass mm -hmm, mm -hmm. glass or glasses all Get right a lot of ghosts in those Ooh. Julie Rieger, thank you so much. Thank the book you. is called? Boom, right here. The Ghost Photographer. There it is. Yeah. She'll be holding a book signing for the book. Again, The Ghost Photographer, this Tuesday, 7 o'clock p.m. at the Barnes & Noble on the Upper East Side. Lots of ghosts in that neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Bring your, bring your camera and your nose. <laughs>